the letter F in two point perspective. Draw that horizon line in. No more vanishing points are on the edge. So we're going to create it inside of a block. Create that block. Need the left side angle towards the left vanishing point, maybe somewhere approximately extending back that far. And we're going to extend the right side towards that right vanishing point even farther because that's where we're drawing it. We're drawing it angle to the right. There's the hinge that our F is going to be sort of angling away from us. A model for it out of rectangles, a vertical, and we need these two horizontal pieces. But they won't stay horizontal because they're swinging away from us towards the right. So that vertical piece, pretty easy. Draw one line, done. I'm going to draw that top portion that's angled to the right vanishing point. Maybe there. Done. I'm going to plot the top and the bottom of that, that middle piece or that lower piece. Angle to the right. No horizontals. I'm going to stop it short. Top and bottom. Approximately there. And I need another vertical to just end that. Done. Served its purpose. Erase. No Frankenstein letters. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And this line is not part of our letter, so we're going to get rid of this. Notice that corner that shows up means we've got to send it to the opposite vanishing point on the left. So we're going to check those corners. Now the hinge, top to bottom, top to bottom, we don't have to do anything. We know that this is a side that we can just fill in with a medium value. I'm just going to shade that in, medium value. You're going to do a much better job, I'm sure. And then I'm going to put my pencil on the left vanishing point, lean my ruler against it, and start scanning for those other corners. Nope. Uh, nope and nope, but there's that one. It's going to run into itself, so I'm going to stop once I run into it. Uh, I'm going to keep scanning. There's the other one, so two corners that we could send. And, reminder, little guy standing here. I need to make him a little bit. His torso a little bit shorter. He's looking up. So those are bottoms, meaning we're going to shade those in darker. Darker than the sides. Now, if this was a thin slice, let's thin this out. Maybe it's not going so far back. Maybe it's thin like this. So only going back in space a little bit. Well, those need to relate. So in order to create the back edges properly, use your right vanishing point. Slide. That looks pretty good right there. So now I'm going to be able to see that back corner. Here's the front corner, back corner. We can see the entire bottom. Nice and dark. Same thing up there. Use the right vanishing point. Slide the other end to where you think it should go. Maybe there looks pretty good. Runs into there. There's the back corner. Front corner. This all gets shaded and darker. We would erase the rest of that. And you would be able to kind of wave to the back side. Stick your hand through there and wave to the back side. There is your letter F in two-point perspective.